Blutus. Blutus. Today we're going to talk about the professional Hearthstone player, Dog. Uh, I am David Dog Cairo. I've been playing Hearthstone for about a year and a half, two years. I've been a professional Hearthstone player for like a year and a half. He's currently a player for Team Liquid and formerly for Team Complexity. He's widely respected across the competitive scene, and his Twitch stream regularly features thousands and thousands of viewers. Uh, you know, Dog is a player that uh, people think about when they're considering top NA players. But interestingly, Dog is also a college student. Because of school, he isn't able to stream full time like the other pro players do, and he doesn't even have the resources to manage a YouTube channel or fancy Twitch features. So this begs the question, how was he able to build a fan base while also being a college student? Well, we're gonna dive into this question, and let's start by asking the man himself. Not all the time, people actually like me when I stream. I'm one of the like, more liked personalities of Hearthstone, I don't know why. And that answer is exactly why people love Dog. You see, Dog just doesn't seem to care about how popular he is or how much money he's making. Yeah, people come up to me and they're like, oh, I'm your fan and like stuff like that, and that's really cool. It's like really awesome, but I still like just, I don't know, I just am a person playing Hearthstone, playing a card game. This attitude towards popularity is really refreshing for a lot of Hearthstone fans. Many of the pro players glorify memes and Twitch drama, whereas Dog just genuinely loves the Hearthstone scene and this really resonates with players. I would say that's like the best part of tournaments, actually meeting people and getting to talk to them, hang out. I think that's the whole purpose of a land is to actually meet the people. It's not so much of like, yeah, I'm doing this strictly for the money or for anything like that is to meet everyone, really get to know them. Every time I go to an event, I'm just like, what's up guys? But there's more to Dog's popularity than just being a down-to-earth guy. In particular, Dog really stands out from other players because he's a master at inventing decks that are totally different from what everyone else is playing. But yeah, this deck is like really good against aggro. I've had some pretty wonky games with this. Doomsayer and Drew is actually pretty sick. The most famous case of this is Dog's Major Domo deck. Now, as background, Major Domo is considered one of the most absolutely awful cards in the game. Everybody that saw this card in action pretty much realized that it was one of the biggest piece of shit legendaries to ever come out. But when the Grand Tournament expansion was released, Dog did what no one else seemed to be able to do. He made a deck with Major Domo, and it was really good. I have a stupid amount of damage with this combo. So good, in fact, that he's actually climbed the legend ranks with it several times on his stream. Haha, <laughs> this is so OP. And it's not just the Domo deck. On almost any given stream, you can watch Dog playing these really unorthodox decks with cards like Dreadsteed, Anything Can Happen, and of course, Maligos. God damn it, there's no way I have lethal. There's like no way I have lethal. This is pathetic. <laughs> Oh, we are a Mally God. Dog doesn't just play these insane decks. He actually dominates the ladder with them. Yeah, well, it looks like it's gonna have to be a Deathwing. So should we get rid of Maligos? Ah, we'll change him later. It's too much fun to play with Maligos. Oh, it is an issue because I can't play this. I made a huge mistake. Jesus Christ, it's not funny. Disgusting. God damn it. Oh fuck, wait, we, we, wait, 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 <laughs> wait, what? Man, Hearthstone's so much more fun when you play troll decks. And maybe it's because of the weird cards, or it's just through sheer coincidence, but for some reason, Dog always manages to get himself into really bizarre Hearthstone situations. Like the time that Hearthstone bugged out and put minions all over the screen. Whoa, what the hell is going on? They're all, they're all stuck up there! Alright, I want him right here. Put him right there. I don't even know how many units I have anymore. Hearthstone is a fun and interactive game. Or the time Dog found himself facing Purple's ridiculous Axe Flinger deck and losing to it. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen! Or the time at DreamHack where Lorewalker Cho dropped from a shredder and created one of the most bizarre competitive matches ever. Oh! Oh man! That's good for him, actually. Wait, is he giving us sprint? I mean, why would he prep sprint? His hand's already full. What is this game? Both players can't even oh. understand it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is turned from a competitive match with $40,000 on the line for both these players to a golden video. So Dog's unique approach to playing the game and the often hilarious situations that result have allowed him to build up a loyal fan base even despite him not having the resources of the other big streamers. But how is Dog done as a competitor in actual tournaments? Well, throughout his professional Hearthstone career, Dog has been very good, but never quite the best. This year I went to DreamHack Summer. I did pretty well in there, I got second. I've been to a bunch of other lands, but I haven't done too well. Did Dog win anything before? I think Dog came close a couple it's of like times. like the ultimate second placer. Unfortunately with Dog, he takes another second place, but hey, he, he got pretty far. And getting pretty far has been the story of Dog's career. He consistently does very well, but as an individual competitor, he still hasn't won a tournament. We look back at the final brackets once again. He actually never dropped a game until the grand finals where he was unable to win a single game. But unlike the other pros, 
unlike virtually all of the other players at the top of the rankings, Dog is still only doing this part-time. I mean, it's not something that I consider like a full-time career yet. It's not something that I'm putting like everything in because uh, I'm still doing school. It's like a part-time job. That's the way I see it. I don't invest everything into it. Hey Dog, why didn't you go to the DreamHack? Uh, I was busy with school. So Dog has built up a successful stream and he's already considered one of the top players and he's done all of it part-time. So it makes you wonder, what could Dog accomplish if he wasn't splitting his time with school? Could he become one of the undisputed best in the world if he was fully committed to it? And very soon, we're gonna find out. So I'll finish college in a month or two. I'll finish school. And then, I guess we'll see how Hearthstone goes. I want to be considered like top three player and also a really good streamer. That's, those are my goals, at least for this upcoming year. Yeah, it's, it's Hearthstone. <laughs> so Dog is now determined to become one of the best three players in the world. And with his graduation right around the corner, he'll finally have the time to make that goal a reality. So I hope that you're as excited as I am to see what Dog can accomplish going forward. And I hope that you enjoyed this spotlight on Dog's career. For more content from Dog, you can check out his Twitch channel and his Twitter. There are links to those in the video description. If you have a suggestion for a player you'd like me to spotlight in the future, please let me know in the comment section below. And of course, if you want to support me making these videos, you can subscribe to my channel as well. That really helps out. Thanks a bunch.